Welcome to the Hypnotic Brainware Installation for Confidence, Part 2. Before listening, be sure you can safely give this audio your full attention and have consulted a healthcare professional. Now, before going into that state of focused attention on my voice, move yourself to get nice and comfortable with your arms by your sides and legs uncrossed. Don't go into that altered state of consciousness just yet. Make sure that you won't be interrupted during our session. When you do become relaxed yet focused deep into the hypnotic state, you will continue to be aware of everything around you still and so will leave if there is an emergency. Gently take a few deep soothing breaths and allow your eyes to gently close as you turn your mental focus now inside as you concentrate on your breathing now so too you may notice it begin to calm and slow continue to focus gently on your breathing now I will explain the confidence brainware installation procedure to you. First, we prepare your mind and body into a suggestive state of consciousness by having you follow some simple instructions and then assist you to imagine the hallway of distortion and the chair of ultimate comfort, which I'm sure you will enjoy. From there, you may hear a story from the wise old man because it will stimulate your subconscious mind which means the download and installation of the confidence mindset directly into your subconscious can start, creating new neural pathways within your physical brain, which we will then strengthen by running you through pre-prepared practice simulations to help you grow comfortable with your new programming. You will be awake and conscious during this process, which means most people find this a most invigorating an enjoyable procedure. All right, let's get started. For the first step, as mentioned, we need to prepare your mind and body for the installation of new software. This involves priming your mind to comfortably follow basic instructions and just act. This is important to get maximum benefit from your new programming. To begin with, open your eyes and select something up high in front of you to look at. And when ready, allow your eyes to relax once more and gently close. That's it, well done. Now for something more complex. You will hear a count backwards from five through to zero. And as you hear each number, open your eyes, looking at that spot and inhale deeply. Then when you exhale, gently allow your eyes to close. Let's begin. Five, eyes open, inhale, and then slowly exhale, eyes closing, relaxing your body. Four, eyes open, inhale, and then slowly exhale, eyes closing, rolling back into your head. Three, eyes open, inhale, and then slowly exhale. Eyes closing, turning your focus inside. Two, eyes open, inhale. And then slowly exhale, eyes closing, whole body relaxing down. One, eyes open, inhale. And then slowly exhale, eyes closing. And just one more time now. Zero, eyes open, inhale, and then slowly exhale, eyes closing and relax down inside now and imagine or visualize before you now a large shiny door and you reach forward and press your hand against the cool solid wall panel. The door glides smoothly out of the way. And in front of you now, a new room, a safe, 
dark, mysterious hallway with no walls or ceiling, with steps lit up on the floor to guide your way. Please now enter the hallway of distortion and feeling excited and happy, you act now and enter this hallway. At first you may notice how calm and peaceful this hallway makes you feel, or you may notice that if you look closely at the darkness around you, you realise it shows a delicate matrix of interconnected nodes, all brilliantly coloured. So many of them, there seems to be more than the stars in a night sky, and they seem so brilliantly complex, pulsing, powerful, delicate, it seems to be always growing in action, adding like a web of muted colour and secret knowledge, the universe spanning out forever here inside your mind. Now is time to travel down the hallway and you find yourself slowly and calmly walking down with the steps lit up before you, enjoying the calm comfort of this secret place, walking slowly towards something up ahead coming up on your side you see a magnificent window lit up with a scene beyond and as you reach the window you stop and through there is a beautiful scene with fresh grass, children and animals playing, a tall tree standing graceful and protective over them all, the sun high in the sky, the day bright and happy in the middle of a beautiful summer, and you draw your focus away from the view through the window now which means instead focusing inside, along that lit up path, as you walk calmly down the hallway now, following the steps so carefully laid out in front of you, you can't miss them already under your feet, you just need to act, automatic movement. And up ahead, again on the same side, a second window, slowly approaching. And as you reach this window, a familiar yet naturally changed scene, the same tree, standing proud and tall, with a magnificent autumn display of both muted and bright oranges, reds, yellows and browns, leaves floating around gently on the breeze, as the children play below, their feet crunching the delicate blanket of crinkly leaves, and you take a moment to admire this new scene, and then you move forward further down along the lit up path in front of you and the next window slowly comes up on the same side which means this time you find yourself feeling eager to look out eager to see the natural change and now a peaceful winter scene Snow blanketing the tree, heavy on its branches, layering the ground, with the children laughing and playing in the snow, leaving footprints everywhere they go, and the sun 
glimpses meekly overhead, warming the scene. And you see small animals scampering to and fro. And then you move, carrying on without thinking, further down inside the building until you reach the final scene, the last window, and because you find yourself eager now to embrace the new scene, the natural change, and to experience the glory of natural growth and progression, you feel excitement, and before you now, the same beautiful tree once more, in all the glory of a bright, vibrant spring, with blossoms in bloom all over the tree, in the most beautiful colour. Children are laughing because they are playing in the grass, and young, new animals are frolicking thrilled and excited, you smile to yourself and you slowly turn away from the window and move your focus deeper inside as you calmly begin to walk along the path laid out in front of you and as you continue to move down the calm, soothing hallway, the interconnected nodes surrounding you fascinate you, delicately intricate and powerful as you continue along, and in the distance, something bright ahead of you, end of the path, deep inside friendly and welcoming, lit up, and you walk closer along your path. You realize it is a chair, bright in the mysterious darkness, waiting for you. And as you continue to move and get closer and closer, you see that this chair is such a comfortable looking chair and soon you will be relaxing deep into the chair, allowing yourself to rest and focus deep inside. As you get closer and closer until the chair is right there in front of you. Please now sit in the chair of ultimate comfort and you reach out and touch the soft, comforting fabric and take a moment and allow yourself to gently and slowly sit down in this chair deep and you feel the waves of relaxation, comfort and calm washing over you from head all the way through to the toes as you sink into pure comfort and all around you, the scene seems to light up because you now notice another chair near yours with a kind, caring old man smiling at you. Please now listen to the caring, wise old man. He has much wisdom to share and a magnificent fireplace in front of you, gently warming your face 
and as you stare into the deep dancing flames, always in action, the kind, caring old man, the wise old man, begins to speak now, as you stare into the flames of the fire. There was a while, shortly after I first began to tell stories, where I thought that I would give up, because everyone else seemed to be just better at it, and I felt that in comparison, I wasn't very good, but I spent some time thinking about this, and I realized that I was comparing myself with others, and that is not good, but worse still, I was comparing myself with what I believed other people were thinking And how could I possibly ever truly know other people's thoughts? I certainly could not, as I am in my own head and not theirs. And then I also realized that I believed I had to be the very best of all the storytellers just to be worthwhile which is just so wrong, and I learnt that if I think confidently of myself while being realistic, I was much more self-assured. Actually, thinking in a confident way made me a better storyteller and practice always practice and practice some more. It's how everybody learns from children learning to tie their shoelaces through to actors, sports stars, even chief executives practice and always strive to improve. And as the old man smiles kindly, cheerful, caring eyes, the room begins to change around you, and you find yourself on a magnificent beach that stretches out as far as you can see in both directions. The perfect temperature lingering in the air, the gentle scent of the beach filling your senses, and you see the brilliant sun gently gliding slowly downwards behind the perfectly calm blanket of beautiful ocean before you, and you find yourself relaxing deeply enjoying the scene, and you watch the sun slowly setting, always in action, calm and gentle, displaying a magnificent rainbow of colours playing across the sky, down near the end of the beach, there is a person They wave to you, but you can't quite make out who they are. Please now move down the beach towards the other person, but you are drawn towards them. This is someone you love and trust completely, and you begin to move automatically towards them. As you get closer, you recognize who they are and laugh that you are looking at yourself. And as you come up in front of this copy of yourself, 
you recognize the familiar features. Visualize or imagine or feel the comfort that exists within yourself. The other you smiles. Confidence Brainware is now loaded and ready for installation. I will read a list of the changes as they are being installed. Your subconscious mind will take these changes and assume them as part of your persona. Installation will now commence. Observe the image of yourself change and grow as the installation completes. You are able to recognize the talents of other people because you recognize the talents within yourself and you easily recognize your good qualities and remember the good things, small or large, and focus easily and effortlessly on your good qualities, your better attributes, positive feelings, good things, and often think of your contributions to the world around you, no matter how small, gave someone a smile, lent a helping hand, doing well in a project, realize how great all these things are that you have done, and often think about all the good things that come to people that are honest and open with their communication, expressive and confident in presenting themselves as they are to the world, worthy of attention, worthy of giving attention, and you are genuinely interested in other people, all worthy of your attention. You are worthy of their attention, and you are often optimistic and have a great deal of resilience, talent, and are courageous. And you are often in control and display good judgment. And you know that not everything is a competition. You are great the way you are. Confidence is merely behavior. The way you act when you are with others. How you express yourself, a communication tool to interact honestly and openly with the world around you. And you often relax your body into poses of confidence, back straight, arms resting behind your head, or hands steepled in front of you or hands held wide while talking with someone. Visualize or imagine or feel this new version of yourself right there in front of you, the new, confident you. Allow yourself to be completely immersed in this person in front of you. If you feel or see anything out of place, or anything that needs to be added, just add it in. Change and adapt this confident version of yourself until you feel in every fiber of your being that the image is perfect. Installation is now fully loaded. When ready to accept these wonderful changes, step into the other version of yourself before you, saving the programming as part of your true self. Now step forward 
and embrace these new changes. And you feel the air around you vibrate with power as you feel this new image become one with you. Light seems to be streaming from your body and you feel yourself smiling. And now it is time to reinforce the neural pathways by running you through various training scenarios. And the scene slowly wavers around you. And now you find yourself sitting in a chair in a small circle of people. Five other people and you also in chairs all facing towards each other. There are two women and three men, one holding a clipboard in his lap. And as you look around at the faces, you notice that some seem to be a little nervous and you smile encouragingly towards them. One of the people the one with the clipboard speaks up. Welcome to the Social Skills Club. Here we have five interesting, wonderful people ready to practice their social skills and practice interacting with other genuinely interesting people. To begin with, I'd like everyone to stand up, and you stand up smoothly and confidently. Others, too, stand smoothly, while a few you notice seem to hesitate a bit with their movements. And now, says the trainer, Instead of forcing you to say your names and something about yourself, we're going to start with a warm-up and a laugh to break the ice. Everyone, come in closer towards me. That's it. Nice and close in a small circle. Excellent. Now, hunch down with me, like this, that's it, and I'm going to start humming, and as I increase the pitch of my hum, I want us all to slowly stand upright until I can't go any higher in pitch with my humming, at which point we must all jump into the air and yell loudly. Yes, it seems a little bit silly, but it will be fun. Okay. And then he starts to hum deeply at first. And as you all watch each other, you begin to move together as a group, slowly into standing upright. And as you look into the eyes of the other group members, you see them start to smile at the silliness and you feel your own grin coming through, and as the pitch of the hum gets higher and higher until you are all standing upright and tall, and then suddenly he reaches the highest pitch he can and lets out a mighty yell to which you all respond, 
some louder than others, some slightly late, and then everyone begins to laugh, and the more nervous people are looking at you, clearly in the eye, and smiling, and laughing, and the leader says, now, that yell was not nearly loud enough, we can do much better, and hunches back down, and begins to hum, everybody hunches down too, and one of the other group members begins to hum along with the leader, and you are impressed with this initiative, and join in with the humming, and soon the whole group is now humming loudly, getting higher and higher in pitch, as you slowly move to be standing upright, until you can't hum any higher, and all together you yell, some of you pumping fists into the air, and everyone is laughing joyously and at ease. The leader is laughing the most, and says, Okay, that's it for today. I hope next time you'll feel comfortable with introducing yourselves to each other, and begin to get to know each other. There is still more, more potential within you, more to learn, practice to empower yourself with, to grow and become more and more yourself, more and more who you truly are, who you want to be, more towards that big, bright future of unlimited potential. But that is for the next part, for tomorrow, when you come back. The scene around you changes now, as you see yourself standing once more on the path within the curious darkness of your deep, safe inner mind, the chair behind you now, as you travel back along the lit path, past the windows, one, two, three, and four, through the doorway, and starting to wake up and feel invigorated and energized and open your eyes now feeling wide awake and refreshed and content. Eyes are open and have a big stretch and feel wide awake. This brain reinstallation has successfully completed. I recommend you seek out new experiences to practice your new skills as soon as possible.